Hi guys, Gustav Esprit here. I uh, want to thank Combat Skin for the gear, shorts, tights, rash guy, and gear. Check them out at combatskin.com. Today we're going to see back retention drill and how to choke the guy with my seat belt grip. Okay? So we are here, the guy turn, the guy is in third position. Always when the guy is in third position, my first thing I'm looking for is trying to lock my seat belt. Okay? If I lock my seat belt, then I can start thinking about taking his back. Okay? Especially when the guy is tight like this. If the guy is open, not connecting uh, his elbows or his arms to his, to his legs, I might just throw my hooks here and then I'm already on his back. If there is a space, that's what I'm going to do. But usually no, no one's going to be like that. They're going to be tight like this, right? So I'm going to work my seat belt here in order to roll the guy and then take my hooks, right? Usually the most common way is rolling over my shoulder, bringing the guy, getting one hook, and getting my second hook. But today, as I lock my seat belt, he tries to roll me to his right, okay? Look what happens. If, uh, what's a common difference from this position here is if I don't have my seat belt locked up and he traps my arm and rolls to his right side, look what's gonna happen. He's gonna turn into me and land on side control. Okay? So, what's the difference if I have my seat belt on him? What's gonna happen? I lock my seat belt and if he tries to do the same escape, go there. He won't be able to turn into me. Okay? Because I'm controlling his shoulder here with my seat belt. So that's the difference. Once he's on this position, he always tries to turn into my legs to establish that control. If he turns into my head, and just follow go back to the seat belt position, okay? So that's the drill I'm going to be doing today. Look, I'm here, I lock my seat belt, and I'm trying to roll this way to take his back, but he goes before me, he rolls to that side. So I don't let him turn into me, and now I want to try to take his back again. Look what I'm going to do. I have a tight seat belt here, my elbows are flushed against his body, First thing I'm going to do is hip skate. So I step on the mat, hip skate, and I'm going to scissor my leg. And I want to get completely parallel to the guy like this. Okay? If I'm like this, it's going to be a little harder for me to come up. Okay? So I scissor my leg, completely parallel to the guy. I pull him towards me to help me come to my knee. So after I come into this position here, I want to get my first hook on this side here, on the side that my arm is underneath his arm, okay? Why? Because now I can lift his arm, okay, with my seat belt. So I post my leg, lift his arm, shoot my hook, and go to this side to free space for this leg, and get my second hook. After I'm here, my head needs to be underneath his head, okay? If my head is up, disconnected from his head, he just slides his back on the mat there and starts escaping my back position. So, I'm here on his back, my head is good on him. I'm in a good position, but this is the weak side of my seat belt. I want to go to the strong side of my seat belt, so how do I do that? I'm going to step on his hip, drive him down, while I go to the other side. And then I have my strong side. Okay? One more rep like that. And here, third position. I lock my seat belt. I'm ready to roll that way, but he rolls me this way first. I stay tight. I don't let him turn into side control. It's okay. Scissor my legs. Pull him towards me and go to my knees. Lift my leg to throw my hook. If this arm is tight here, I'm gonna lift a little bit. To shoot, roll, get my second hook. 
Now let's just turn to the strong side of my seat belt by standing on his head. Okay. Let's take a look now on a on a choke I can do using that seat belt. Okay. Position is the same. Boom, I lock. He rolls me that way. Establish the position. Escape. Scissors. Come to my knees. And now look. Sometimes the guy is very tight here. He's worried about my hooks. And he forget about a little bit about his neck. Okay? So I might try to choke him from this position. Look what I'm going to do. I want to do is slide this part of my, my, my wrist here underneath his chin. Okay? If he's worried about the hooks, maybe he's forgetting about the neck. So I slide up and my shoulder now that's on the outside, I'm gonna drive behind his neck. Okay? So usually my seat belt is like this, against his chest, my head glued on his head. For the choke, I'm gonna slide up and to the side. So that my shoulder is behind his neck, that's what I'm looking for. I'm gonna squeeze here, drive my head against his head. And I'm going to start bringing him down again. Driving my shoulder behind his neck, collapsing his chin against his chest. Okay? Normal seat belt. Up into the side. Quite a job. Okay? Sometimes my final position would be me completely flat. Look. But I have a good shot. One more time. He's sitting down here. I have my seat belt. All I'm going to do is a little adjustment here. Up and to the side. Here. Slide down. Okay? Hope you guys like it. See you soon.